The following report contains flash photography. This started filtering out from Spain about an hour ago. Uh, Spanish police have said that uh, Cilla Black died during the night, they believe from natural causes. She was in Estepona where she has a home. She'd been there, she'd flown back out there a few days ago, we understand, and uh, has been confirmed as having died there. Uh, but th there's no indication of why. She, as far as we're aware, she didn't have any life-threatening illnesses. She, she suffered from arthritis, uh, things like that, and hearing problems, but nothing which would have been uh, given her an at-risk factor. So it has come as something of a shock uh, because 72, of course, is no age these days. Uh, but we haven't yet heard any confirmation from police in Britain or indeed from her agent. Uh, so we're still waiting for that. But certainly Spanish police have confirmed the death and it's now being reported widely. 72, and I think people would say it's a, a cliché, a young 72, I mean, uh, as we've seen there. As, and her career, I mean, how will people remember her? Because there were many phases to this career, weren't there? Well, very much so. And I think she's someone who genuinely spanned the generations. But she, she came to prominence in the 1960s as a singer. In fact, she used to be a part-time cloakroom attendant at the Cavern Club where the Beatles performed. And she, she would sing there. And the Beatles apparently uh, liked what they saw and heard. And and she went on to have a string of uh, top 20 hits. But then she reinvented herself as a television performer and found a whole new generation of fans with the dating programme Blind Date, uh, also the family programme Surprise Surprise. So she was a ge genuine celebrity known to millions of people across all sorts of ages. So there is, as we've seen from those tributes, a great deal of sadness out there at this news.